I'm going to be straight with you. You need the best Gmail alternatives. Why? Because Gmail's privacy has never been worse, and I'm sick and tired of either having my email accessed by Google's money-hungry advertiser affiliates or being threatened by data breaches. Screw Google and screw corporate greed, we're regaining our privacy today. In this video, I'll give you a detailed rundown of the three Gmail alternatives that I found worth covering. If you're not sure why I'm so frustrated, consider this. Gmail's privacy has been compromised multiple times, and at its worst, Gmail pretty much allowed third-party apps to scan users' inboxes so that advertisers could offer automated travel itinerary suggestions, price comparisons, and so on. To put it simply, Gmail either doesn't give a crap about user privacy, or they're deliberately letting their affiliates harvest user data for profit. Regardless of which option is true, both might be, Either one would be a good option to bid Gmail farewell. Personally, I replaced mine with one of the best email providers, ProtonMail. Unlike Gmail, this online mailbox has a spotless reputation as part of the Proton AG family. This company is responsible for multiple respectable security apps and prides itself on a transparent, open source approach to software. As a privacy conscious person, here's my ProtonMail review. Security-wise, ProtonMail uses end-to-end -end encryption to ensure only the intended recipient can access my emails. Besides that, the encryption is zero access, which means that the provider doesn't have the means to decrypt any of your emails and access the content inside. By being based in Switzerland, ProtonMail is backed by legal data protection laws, so no governmental agency can ask them to reveal user data. And like I mentioned before, the app is completely open source and free to independent security experts to review. Hence, the security audits regularly. But security isn't the only area in the Gmail versus ProtonMail fight in which Gmail loses miserably. Features and ease of use are also important. I think ProtonMail has one of the best interfaces as far as email providers go. It's very easy to navigate. No convoluted settings or unclear design changes every few months. This extends to a seamless integration with Proton Calendar and Proton Drive, two elements I would otherwise have lost after dropping Gmail. After all, Google Drive is a big reason most people still use Gmail, but since ProtonMail offers a comparable alternative, it's easier to make the switch. Features-wise, ProtonMail continues the theme of privacy with anonymous email. Unlike Gmail, I can set up my email account without revealing any personal information at all. I can also create multiple separate email aliases, which can throw off most, if not all, tracking attempts. Plus, premium users get an opportunity to set up their own domain names, which is awesome for anyone with a small business or who needs any work-related configurations. Put briefly, ProtonMail is an excellent secure email provider. With superior anonymity, end-to-end -end encryption, and open-source foundation, ProtonMail is a privacy powerhouse, to say the least. A quick reminder, you can get our exclusive deals for ProtonMail by scanning this QR code or through the link in the description. While ProtonMail is a very well-known name that some of you probably heard before, I hadn't heard of StartMail before doing research for this video. The whole idea behind StartMail is to provide a balance between strong privacy methods and traditional email service design. Unlike the fully privacy-focused ProtonMail, StartMail utilizes PGP encryption, a standard email option that requires both sender and recipient to have it. Obviously, the expectation is that both sides use StartMail. In terms of privacy, StartMail promises it doesn't log the user's IP address, and with privacy-friendly Netherlands laws, it's a promise they can back up. Apart from underlying security and privacy matters, I really enjoyed StartMail's design. It's clearly inspired by popular email providers, and it just feels familiar, even when you open the webmail interface for the first time. Similarly to ProtonMail, StartMail provides anonymity-focused options. For instance, I can use anonymous email addresses to protect my actual email address, reducing how much spam, phishing emails, and other targeted harassment I'm receiving. This feature works by creating an alias I can use to sign up for online services. This alias will forward any proper emails to my real inbox while filtering out dubious or harmful messages. The best part, there's no limit on how many of those aliases I can have at once. Of course, StartMail also lets me create custom domains, but just like with ProtonMail, this is a paid feature. Still, if you plan to have a business email, it's definitely worth paying for. Overall, StartMail is the best Gmail alternative for people who prefer the familiar design of their usual email provider, but want some extra privacy without having to learn a brand new app. 
While StartMail is a good introduction to the world of anonymous email providers, Surfshark Alternative ID is close to the peak of anonymity. Truth be told, Surfshark is not a dedicated email service. It's a cybersecurity suite with a VPN, an optional antivirus service, and more importantly for us, an anonymous email address and alternative persona feature. I know, it sounds pretty grandiose, an alternative persona, but that really is what Alternative ID is designed to do. It creates an anonymous email address and lets me configure a bunch of personal data associated with it. So now whenever I sign up with a website, I don't have to worry about it getting breached because all that'll get revealed is a bunch of data I made up. So have fun trying to scam Lord Josh Resplendent the fifth. On top of that, just like with StartMail, this alternative email will forward all relevant emails to my actual inbox, filtering scams, spams, and phishing emails. But that's just the basics. Alternative IDs are made to be disposable, anonymous, and completely private. And they also work as a proxy service for my emails. I can reply from my real inbox, but the reply will appear as if it's coming from my alternative persona. I just need to remind myself not to reply like this to business proposals, because not everybody enjoys conversing with Jojo the Barker for some reason. Continuing on with our Surfshark Alternative ID review, its email addresses are especially useful for me due to their unlimited storage size. I can receive or send as many emails as I need without worrying about having to clear the inbox. One advanced benefit is phone number masking. Any user from the US can order a custom phone number, which will complement the fake email, forwarding all calls to you without revealing your real phone number or associated information. This is extremely privacy oriented, but maybe a bit too pricey for the average user. The thing about Surfshark Alternative ID that I appreciate the most is that it's a valuable tool for reducing my digital footprint as a whole. So if you care not just about having an alternative email address with anonymity, but also about remaining safe from data collection, scams, and phishing, this is the best option. Now let's discuss how much these top Gmail alternatives will cost you. ProtonMail is quite customizable in that area. Besides offering a pretty lackluster free plan, it has multiple paid options with various lengths, storage sizes, features, and support options. The most important note here is that custom domains and email aliases come as extras, so you can still get an email service with strong privacy without overpaying a lot if you don't want to. It's easy to find a balance that fits any user. StartMail is a bit more rigid when it comes to pricing. It offers monthly and yearly subscription options for personal use, but not a lot of opportunities to pick and choose features and storage apart from providing custom domains as a paid extra. Surfshark Alternative ID is included in all Surfshark VPN subscription plans from Surfshark Starter and above. That said, later plans also include an antivirus, personal data removal service, and other cybersecurity tools that are useful for maintaining a secure and private online experience. Personally, I use it as a one-stop shop for all my cybersecurity needs and at a very affordable price. If you found this video interesting or useful, consider subscribing to the channel and leaving us a like. We don't just make reviews, but also in-depth documentaries about cybersecurity, and we release regular news coverage too. When it comes to the email providers we covered today, each of them is a great alternative to Gmail. ProtonMail is a privacy powerhouse with many anonymity-focused features and in-depth customization for optimal online protection. SmartMail bridges privacy and familiarity, providing enhanced security while maintaining a user-friendly approach. Surfshark's alternative ID might be more focused on providing privacy through alternative persona, but it remains a strong email service for warding off spam, scams, and phishing emails. Considering you can get any of these providers with an exclusive discount through the link in the description, they are definitely worth trying out. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments which email provider you're using now and what made you switch from Gmail. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye.